All step to scale new heights is Shivai. There ain't no mountain high enough for him as the song goes. But this time you add another feather to your cap. You are acting, producing and directing. So how was it being like three in one? Uh, tedious, uh, but uh, not, uh, not very tough. Uh, the production part was the toughest part. Really? I mean, when you're directing yourself and you're acting as well? And no, I think, I think if you ask them, that was, I was very comfortable with that. I've always How is he as a director? Um, you know, he's someone who knows exactly what he wants. You know, when you think that an actor is going to direct, it's, it's really not like that with, Aj with Ajay sir. Not only does he know what he wants from his actors, hmm. uh, but whether it's with the camera or it's with, we had what, like a 250 people unit, close 350. to 350 people unit. So. I, I ask him this quite often and I say that how do you go to the shot and act and how do you go to the mo he's juggling you know and 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 as he said very calmly so well, yeah and you said it's very commendable work. absolutely and two years such a like it's a tough location so how did you manage that two years giving it all to one film I think uh, if you want to do something you want to make something you have to be honest to it first hmm. and then you can't start thinking it uh, two years of my life I'm giving to this and you know I could have done so many films and made so much money hmm. and blah 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 but when you want to make something from your heart then you go ahead and do it and then you don't think you know what what you're losing in it so that's how it is and also to create something of the scale you need to uh, get out of your com comfort zone absolutely and then push yourself and do it Otherwise, you would be stuck in the same rut and doing the same old thing again and again and again. A lot of people turn out after the first trailer came out, I got, uh, apart from the response here, I, I got such great response from people from the West, people, people I know from Hollywood also, and people I don't know, some big directors also, mm. which I wouldn't want to name, uh, that how amazing it is and how was this shot taken or that shot taken. And I felt very proud. I said, yeah, it's made in India. You know, mm. so we so can also do it. Why, why yeah. do people think that we can't do it? Absolutely. And so now, are you a better director or are you a better actor? No clue. <laughs> uh, I don't consider myself a very good actor. Uh, That's not. As a director, <laughs> that, that you will decide after releases. And also, you did the stunts yourself. But these days, also, one is seeing, but you've always been doing it, in your genes to do stunts yourself. But a lot of people these days are making a conscious decision to do stunts by themselves and not use body doubles. Honestly speaking, it's become a lot more easier. Uh, when we started, there were no cables, there was no CGI. Uh, if we had to jump from a third floor, we actually did. It landed on boxes and broken, I've uh, broken practically every bone in my body. So, um, I think we're very lucky as we were chatting before, that ours is the generation who's seen both sides of the technology. Gee. When we started, uh, bhi tha, and now, you know, everything has changed. So, there's a lot of support. So, people have started doing it themselves also because it's become a lot more easier. And for me, it comes like if I could do it when I was 19, yes, I can do it when I'm 47 right now. So I feel great but about that. still 19 at heart, isn't he? And then you have Erika here. So Erika, what was your experience like doing a Hindi movie, as everyone says, a Bollywood film? I, I like the fact that you uh, made a differentiation between Hindi film and a Bollywood film because I did act in Hindi and the entire film was shot in Hindi and in India in the in, in a great part but I don't really feel it was a Bollywood film I my reception of it was that I was on a set of a huge production which might have just as well be a Hollywood production because the the amount of professionals and of talent and everything was so overwhelming I'm not sure how other Bollywood productions look maybe they're all like that yeah. but to me it was um, it was a great overwhelming experience especially in the beginning, mm -hmm. to get used to the set and everything. Later she got fed up of us. <laughs> <laughs> and Abigail here, I mean, she's also done Hollywood and now she did her first Hindi film. Were you aware of Bollywood? Yeah, I didn't know of Bollywood, but I wasn't like, know everything about it. So coming to India was good because now I know all about Bollywood. No, well, not all about it, but RJ said, like, and Seisha have taught me things about Bollywood. So. So what, does, what is it most you like about Bollywood? I love all the colours because everything's bright and colourful and nice. Uh. So nothing's really dark and... But our film is not mm. very colourful. 
Well, <laughs> you're, you're the colorful bit in the film. Yeah, so she's yeah, the colorful she's, bit she's in the, the colorful film, yeah. bit. Okay, so now let's, we have an audience here. So let's go to Alicia first. Sir, uh, your father, Mr. Viru Devgan, was a stunt choreographer. Were you ever inspired by him or you wanted to pursue your career in the same field? Whatever I've inherited from him because I think he was he was the only man at that point of time, one one of the most important men who got, who changed the style of shooting and technology and things like this. He, he, he got so, so many new things to the industry. And uh, I remember, uh, I mean, when I was a kid, I was very fascinated with uh, being behind the camera, not just an action director or anything of that sort, but I was fascinated with the whole camera and everything. And I used to, uh, I started editing with him when I was 11, 12 because when he used to shoot, the editors used, you used to say that we can't edit this, you might as well do it yourself. So in my office there was an edit room and that time it wasn't a computer, it was uh, it was a movila where you had to stand and you know um, run the film like this and somebody is holding and trying to roll the film and uh, then you slice it live and stick it. So I, my process started from there, then he started doing then when he was doing films like, then I started going on the sets with him when I had holidays when I was young and uh, I used to learn a lot. Uh, eventually I started making my own films, I started directing, uh, I, I used to make my own films, I used to do everything except for acting. <laughs> so, You're an incidental actor. Yeah, I would say. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and then, then, then I assisted uh, Shekhar Kapoor and uh, lot more people. So my thing started from there. I, I remember him, he was shooting for Mr. India and that time there was no special effects and things like this. In Mr. India, if you see today also, it's at, at par. I mean, the way Shekhar uh, shot the film. And, uh, and my dad was completely involved in how to shoot the technical part of it. And he used to come home and he, because he knew that I was very fascinated with all this and he used to say, I've taken a shot like this, think how I've done it. And next day I used to shoot it on the video camera and that time he had given me a video camera so that I could shoot myself. It was so big, the camera. And I used to shoot the same special effect shot and show it to him the next day and he used to get very impressed. So that's, that's, that's my process of, so I've inherited that from him, I guess. 